Hello everybody, welcome back to Escape Memoirs. This is part two. Uh, when I left you, I was just trying to work this out. So what I've done, I mean, that was uh, yesterday, so I've had a little bit of thinking time. Uh, but what I've thought about is, obviously this compass is, if we just uh, open it up, uh, obviously we are not orientated with the map so if we oriented ourselves with the map i'd have to put it down to show you but obviously we're facing a different way if we were to put that down so we can see that south is that way so everything is is like a click to the uh to the side right so if we get our letter red towards so red towards our western station so i think we are here right because otherwise why would we be finding our western station right so i think we're here so we're facing this way so i think this is kind of like a north westerly type thing so we need to move red to a north westerly position um, I then think white towards the church is then a sort of southeasterly position from us. And I think the fire department must be this one or it's this one. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's we're going to try either west or we're going to try a um, we're going to try a, a southwest. Uh, so let's uh, come out of here. So I think red. We were going for a. Um, we were going for a northeasterly position. White. We were going for a southeasterly position. And yellow. We were going for a west position. And there we go. That's what taking a bit of time out just to have a think about it and a little look at it actually does for us. So let's put that there, and we're in. So, uh, what has that given us? Um, a stack of punch cards. Okay. What do we do with these then? Uh, what is, uh, in here, maybe? What do we do with them, though? Okay. Well, I don't really know what to do with them yet, but... I think they go in there. Um, what do these say? I can't really read these. I don't know if they're part of the the game or not. With them not being able to be picked up. Have we gone through all these drawers? I think we did in the first part, didn't we? I think we, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we went through all of these in the first part. Um... Okay, what's over here? I don't think we've actually been over here yet. There's not a lot in there. Not a lot in there. Ooh, was there something in here? Nope, nothing in there. Nothing in there. This is not looking good. Aha! What have we got in here? Uh, request form for Hans Sterling. I would appreciate it if I could get next week off so that I can go and enjoy the Eldenburg Harvesting Festival. Denied. It was not allowed to go to the Harvest Festival. Mark Jackson. Uh, my relatives and I are planning on throwing a surprise party for my father's 53rd birthday, so I need next Friday, the 9th of October, off to make some preparations. I wonder if that's an important date, the 9th of October. That could be important. Uh, and Scott Harding, my eldest son's 18th birthday is coming up on the 16th of October. So I would like to take that day off so I can take my wife and kids to the circus to celebrate. If needed, I am more than willing to work on the following Sunday to compensate. And that was also approved. So we've got two dates there. Um, don't know whether to uh, just make note of those, just in case we need those. Oh, camera. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do we need? Anything in here? Okay, so there's nothing else in these drawers. Okay, nothing at all. 
So, Captain, so Sergeant Han Sterling, Employee of the Month. And Han Sterling. Mark Jackson and Sergeant, or Senior Sergeant, Scott Harding. Okay. So these, these are these people, aren't they? Yeah, Jackson, Jackson, Harding. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that's them. So what do we need to do? What do we know about these then? That's going to help us get into there. Doesn't say anything on the back. Request form. Hmm. Don't know. We've been in here yesterday. I don't know what this does yet. I can do different things, but I don't know what to put in. I've been through all of these. I think. What's in here then? What, did we miss something in here? What does this do? Ah, okay. Interesting. Okay, so one, two go into one. That one powers that light as well. Goes down here, powers that light. This one powers that light. That light comes on. Okay, I think. So what's the... So there's a light down here in the bottom right. Um, so if we take power into here and here. So we... That wire goes down into here. This one goes through also into here. So that one goes to power there. This one as well, maybe. That one goes through here, around here, into here. Do we need to put all of these on them? Interesting. So that one, power into here. That goes up right here, down here. So that goes all that way. That one, powers into there. We've already got power running this way though. That one goes down into here, here and here. So each one I think needs to be powered from two sources. Can any of these be powered I wonder? Uh, okay, so if power came in here, it goes... Oh, that's hard to see. <laughs> that is a little bit hard to see as to where these powers are... Where the, all these wires are going. Um, they're, they're going everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. So maybe put that one on there, so that seems to go everywhere. This one, because that goes just into there. And then that would power out into here, which would go back into here which will come out and go into here. So is that that one I was just saying? Uh, this one goes into here, goes around into here, goes around into here, also goes into here. So they all kind of connect in, but I'm confused as to... I'm confused. I'm confused, very confused. So, are we doing this right, I wonder? I wonder if we're doing this right. Uh, so... Does this one need to be on as well then? That one comes down. Let's go backwards a bit. So this is definitely... 
brought power through. When you come into here, maybe all of these don't need to be on. Let's work backwards, that's often the best way. So we need power to come into here. So to get it into here, we have to come into here. Right, so we have to come at the top. So to get power into here, we come down here, down here, up here. That goes round here, up here, and into there. Okay, so that one needs to be on. So if we then follow the cable from this one, it goes down here, up here, round here, up here, down here, up here, down here, into here. So then that one needs to be on and Where does that go? Does that go up here? So then that one needs to be on as well. Okay. So is that right then? Have we got power coming into here? Hmm. This is a really... Uh, Can be quite challenging at times, I think. Um, okay, so then the other side of this then is so we've got to get power into here. So power this way. So that needs to be on. And then to give this one power that one needs to be on and that one needs to be on I think probably doing this wrong and then this one needs to be on to give power to this one in the first place That one needs to be on. That one's going down there as well. Okay. Uh, probably doing this very, very wrong. I'm sure if you're watching, you probably figured all this out and I think I'm not doing very well here. Let's zoom out again. So. I think we've got, I, I don't understand what we're, you can't just switch them all on, can you? No, obviously that doesn't work. Um, okay, I'm going to have a little think about this and I'll bring you back in when I'm finished. Okay, I think... I have sort of sussed it. Um, it, is, it is a case of just tracing all the wiring. I think I was going wrong. But I think when I turn these two off, I think... Um, yes, I think that has done it. It is a case of, of tracing the wiring to, to complete the circuits. But what, is that, what has that given us? Uh, um, not entirely sure what that's that's given us some sort of power there was that thing at the end of the corridor wasn't there is it this thing ooh it is this thing Okay. All right, presumably somewhere we have a pattern for this. Okay, let's go back down the corridor and escape. Well, I say escape, but try and escape. Uh, what else have we got in here then? 
done this now somehow. I'll be honest with you, I, it was a case of I was trying loads of different combinations. Um, and yeah, just follow the wiring and you'll get there. But it is... Uh, so this thing... Ah, okay. So one, two... Now what? One again, two, three, uh, three, uh, one. I have no idea what I just did. I have no idea how I just did that. That is amazing. <laughs> no idea. Let me have whatever it is, but. What is this? Some cigars and stuff. Soul Jackson. Okay, we've got a key for Soul Jackson. Uh, these are padlocked though, aren't they? So it's not going to be a key for that. Has so he got a... A locked drawer, maybe? Ah! What is in here? Soul Jackson, male. Uh, okay, so this is... This is his employee information, I think, isn't it? So what do we do with this? This is his information. 10, 10... 1890 so employee ID here we go 10 10 987 10 987 uh, who's he Soul Jackson so it's this one 10 987 10 9 8 come on 7 it is yes okay what's he got in here Punch card sorting machine manual. Okay. Employee data, sex, marital status, skin tone, profession, salary, age, years employed. So what do we do with this then? The D4 employee data. Okay. Form contains the main essential information needed for management. So what do we do with this information then? Do we punch it in? Presumably we punch it into the... In here. But what information do we put in here? That's the thing. Uh, what information do we put in here then? Hmm. Wait, we knew somebody was on pay grade three, didn't we? So whose information do we put in there? So we don't have any information on any of these, really. We know that Sterling had the the note on his locker. He had 10 years of service. So we're trying to get into Harding's locker. And we've already got into Jackson's. So we need to get into Harding's locker. So maybe it's something to do with him. Is it something to do with Harding, I wonder? Scott Harding, my eldest son's eight, uh, 12th birthday. I think I read that as 18th earlier. 12th birthday. That makes more sense to take him to the circus, I was wondering. It's coming up on the 16th of October. So we've got a son on the 16th of October. But that's not helping with with this. I mean, we can probably... Well, we know he's married, probably, and he's he's male. 
we can get his skin tone from his picture on the wall. I guess we could guess. We don't know how long he's been employed, but... I suppose we could guess that, couldn't we? So we're looking for Harding. So Harding is on the end. So we're looking for you. So... Uh, so we know he is, we know he's male, so that's one. We know he's most likely married, so that's two. We know he is dark-skinned, so that would be three. Um, we know he's in law enforcement, so that would be, um, two. We know he's probably... Well, we don't know he's... Pay grade 3 was for 10 years and above. We know that. We don't know how long he's... He's probably pay grade 2 because a lot of them are, but... So, 2 maybe. Um, age. I mean, if, have we read it somewhere? I can't... He's probably between 30 and 45. So, this is probably 3. Years employed. Um, well, it's under 10, so 5 to 9, maybe? How's that for a guess? Um, uh, did we do it right? There are too many papers to go through them manually. Um, did we do that wrong? I think we may have done that wrong. Yeah, I, th I think we... I think we did... Okay, so... So he wasn't that. I'm sure it must tell us somewhere. I bet we, we're doing this wrong, I bet. I bet we could find this information out. Uh, so what's what's likely to be wrong, then? I guess... He's time employed, maybe? Maybe it's two to four years. So maybe it's three for... for G. Um, uh, two, sorry. Maybe it's two. Yeah, we're not doing this right, are we? <laughs> I don't think we're doing this right. Okay, so there must be a clue on some of this information that we've I've forgotten. What is this about? Sterling. Not looking for Sterling. Mark. We're not looking for Mark. Not, yeah, Scott Harding. 12th birthday. Eldest son is 12. Staff audits. Yeah, like an ID card or something. Anything. If we miss something in here, is there something on the shelves or... Anything else in here? It's just that brush. Hmm. Have we missed something somewhere? Well, maybe it's on the wall here important. Maybe it's here. Uh, that's just about... It doesn't say a lot. It's Captain Jackson. Okay. Hmm. Must be missing something. I'm 
believe there's nothing in this desk. I guess we'll just have to keep playing around, maybe, until... Okay, I'm going to have a little think about it, and I'll bring you guys back when I've... Uh... Okay, I have... Uh... Come on, get up. Keeps crouching. There we go. So, I've had a little think about it. I think what we've... The mistakes we've made are... Uh, if we remember in this letter here... Um, or in the letter that was here, sorry. Uh, you have 10 years of service, pay grade 3, when you're promoted to senior sergeant. So, he must have done... Because he is senior sergeant... He must have done over 10 years of service, and he must have done... Um, he must be on pay grade 3. So we can change those, because I know we've done those wrong. So we know... Uh, so I've also put that one in the wrong hole at the moment. Uh, he is... So we know he's pay grade 3, so this must be... So E must be 3 not two. F, uh, a year's employed has to be 10 to 14, so that must be four. Um, and age, we can just include all rather than having to guess. So I think that might, that might give us what we're looking for. Aha, and it has. So that's what we were looking for. And now we have his employee ID number. So it pays to go back and have a think, you see. I had to, uh, it took me a few minutes, five minutes or something, just have a little think, but then reading back through the letters and things. So we have to take note of absolutely everything you see. Um, probably why the game actually would be better suited to multiplayer. So you can, even if it's just somebody else in the room with you, just so you can bounce a few ideas off somebody. Okay, that's that dump. Uh, what do we got in here? Uh, okay. Oh, this the um, this looks like the um, colours for this thing, perhaps. Okay, so that would be the first. The first thing is a. No, how do we change? Aha, like that. That's an arrow there. Then the next one is a a white symbol. Not entirely sure how all of these little triggers work. How do we make that white? Nope, don't want to do that. Don't want to change that. Okay, so that's got nothing to do with that. That one comes on, that one comes on, that one comes on, and that one. Aha. And then blue for this one. Uh, how do we make that? Make it green. How do you make it blue? No, that's correct. Hmm. Okay. This would be very helpful if I actually understood what I was doing. <laughs> um... So we make that. So we need to make the, that one red as well, don't we? The next one down. That's made it white. How do you make it blue? I think this is just going to be another playing around job. 
until we uh Um, hmm. okay, that one's so that we never actually get them to go blue, do we? Ah, no, we do. Okay, that's blue. Then this next one needs to be red, though. How do we make that red, I wonder? Um, no, that changes up there. That changes that. We've gone wrong somewhere, then, haven't we? Tricky data, Steam achievement. Well, it is tricky. I am enjoying this, though. This is quite a... Um, this is quite a challenge to uh does that do anything i don't know if that does anything or not ah okay that might help uh no that doesn't do anything that changes the top one which is not what we want that changes all of those, but we had that white. How do we get back to white? Did we have that on white just a second ago? How do we get that white again? Oh, there we go. No, that one? No, that one. Uh, okay, so now we've got that red, but this is not white anymore. Um, now it is. Now it is. Uh, so, orange, white, blue, red, green, yellow. I think we've done it. We've done it. Are we, are we in here now? Okay. We're in a different room now. Presumably we need to get outside somehow. What's this? Um, might need over here then. Okay. Okay, um, how do we do this then? What's next? Hmm. Not really, sh I'll be honest, I'm not really sure what's lighting these up. What's making these light, I wonder? And that one's not on. Oops. <laughs> Apparently you can smash into things. Ah, some more lights. I wish I knew what I was doing with this. I have absolutely no idea 
what's causing these ah, connection. Um, that doesn't like that there. But that one doesn't matter. I wish I knew what I was doing to make these light up. But to be honest with you, in the escape rooms I've actually done in real life, a lot of it is just doing random stuff and looking into it. Um, I'm sure that's not the way you're supposed to do it, but it's the way I often end up uh, doing things. Oh, wait a sec. Do you have to have two blues now? Two reds together, maybe, and two yellows together? No. Nope, calling me confused. I have no idea what to do. We keep getting quite a lot of lights on, but I don't know. So we're, we're all a bit like too hmm so we've got these two but they're not lit up ah now we're we're still all we're always kind of too shy of success And I don't know why. Okay, we've done it. Again, not really sure. I think it was something to do with the colours. Red, red, blue, blue, red, red, all yellow, yellow. Yeah, red's uninterrupted. I really got no idea. No idea, but we're in anyway. Uh, we have a set of keys, we have uh, to the reception desk, which is here, which presumably goes in there, and we have a letter. During our latest inspection of the emergency shelter, we noticed that there were signs of illegal activation. The evidence we found points to gambling, excessive use of, our, of, 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 of alcohol. Interesting, excessive use of, of alcohol and mishandling of confidential documentation documents i can't read uh while we couldn't ascertain the culprits we have taken measurements or measures to ensure that such things do not happen again we have installed a new padlock to the blast door loading to the shelter leading to the shelter I, I need glasses i think i'm having a real <laughs> trouble reading this its combination is made up of the first part of the current secretary's id and the second part of the current security officers so we need the security officers second part and the secretary's first part of their id okay uh in here we have Something we'll read that in a second. Just have a Can you have a look through these drawers just in case there's anything Important doesn't look like it. I think that's what we needed out of here. Is it? No, oh, what's this? Secretary in the reception is unavailable get another secretary from the list as a replacement. So they are all secretaries then Name Ben I would like to form more complaint about uh, the recent behavior of Sergeant Hans Sterling. He has been making a lot of completely inappropriate jokes about me and Sergeant Harding. These jokes usually imply Scott and I are somehow brothers. While I understand that coincidences can be funny, these jokes are not. Furthermore, I can say with confidence that nobody apart from Hans is laughing. I would appreciate it if he would receive a formal warning for his behavior, which is completely out of line. Hmm. Seems, uh, I don't know. Is that, a, is that a problem that they're brothers? Ben. Okay. Ben. Do we have any Bens there? Name Ben. 
Sergeant Hands. Oh, so that's got to be the other... Um, the other guy with the, the same surname. Hey, some security guy came over and had Frank install a new lock to one of the internal mailboxes. Evidently, there have been some regulations that require it. Uh, anyway, uses our new combination. Well, where's that lock then? Ah, what's this? This isn't this though, is it? Um. Ah. Uh. Can't get that in there. <laughs> uh, can you switch the other? Hang on, I know. Oh, I see. So you then move the small piece. I see. So we need to move that piece to get that piece there then. doing this oh I see do we have to do that even I think I know what I'm doing here. I'll bring you guys back when I've uh, flicked it around enough times to help solve. <sighs> okay, guys, we are back. Um, we have done it. You have no idea how long that has taken me to do that. That has been more than an hour. That has been probably closer to two hours uh, trying to somehow work that puzzle out. Why can't I move? What's going on? See, I've been here for that long and now I'm stuck to the floor. What's going on here? Why can't I move? Just one second.
nine three eight. Okay, uh, we appear to have escaped, or we have access to the emergency shelter. I think we've done it. We have indeed. Just before we end the video, can I just say that uh, that we now appear to be stuck? Can I just say though, the this puzzle here really did. That took me hours to uh, to work out. I had to resort to going online and finding a, a little bit of a walkthrough. And even that was difficult to follow, but I did record it, so I will put that up on the channel for anybody who was struggling, because that was really hard. But I've really enjoyed this game. That was a really fun thing to do. Um, uh, hopefully, if we walk down here, we should complete it. And we have. Jailbreak uh, is complete. That is the end of this part. There will be others coming in the future, but uh, they'll be coming at a later date. If you did enjoy this video, guys, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment on how you did in, uh, in your efforts at escaping. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and I'll see you for another video very soon.